Hey guys, wanted to put out a video today. Uh, as busy as I've been, I'm trying to make sure I get time to to get some of these videos out for you guys. Today, the first one I'll do is on the Mini Z because I've been driving this one quite a bit, practicing with it every day. Um, it is a lot of fun. It's a lot of people ask the question, you know, compared to like my WL toys and stuff like that, is it worth the extra money? Because the difference is, is you can get a WL toys for about 60, 70 bucks. And this one's 200. And I can honestly tell you from driving this car that it is worth the money to spend it on the mini Z. Um, it just, it handles so much better. And it's just a way superior car. Uh, there's, I'll post a video. I've practiced a little bit with it this morning before I went to work. So uh, I'll post that footage at the end. I mean, I'm still learning how to drive it. And it, right now it's a combination with me between learning how to program my new MT12 and just getting the settings just right for, for my driving style. So you'll see that I make some mistakes here and there. and then there's times where it's really smooth. So I'm just hoping to be able to get it all to where it's really smooth for the most part. I'm still waiting on uh, my uh, my lap timing system, but it should be here this at the beginning of this week. So I'm hoping I can get that set up and then I can start tracking my, my uh, lap times and stuff and see how much better it's getting, especially with the mods I'm doing on it. Now I've done... This car right now is pretty much box stock, except for a few things. I did change. I don't know if you can see them very well, but I changed out the front springs to a Kyosho spring. Um, I'm running the yellows, which is kind of a stiffer spring. And then I also, because a lot of the guys say like one of the first upgrades you should do on it is I took the original factory plastic shock off of it. And went to a disc dampener on it. Now I do have a Kyosho oil filled shock that's going to go in here in between. Um, to see if it runs any better than uh, what it does with just the disc dampener on it. Um, it's, it's much smoother and drives a lot better. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. The, the car's getting a lot more traction than what it used to. So I may need to... To go to a different tire on it because tires are like the biggest thing with these cars. I mean, once you get the right combination for running on the RCP tracks and stuff like that, uh, the the car just kind of dials in itself. So, and then other than that, the only other option I did to it is I went to the carbon fiber T plates, which you can see here. Now that I'm running the softest one to start with, I've got uh, I got a set of three that are soft, medium, and hard. So I'll just it's all gonna some of those get changed out depending on uh, track surface and track size. So it's just something that I'm gonna play with and and see. Like it says right now, I'm running the softest one. Because the car's getting way more traction than it used to with this disc, this disc dampener on it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play with some stuff a little bit and see what I need to adjust to to get it to dial in right. But otherwise, the car runs awesome. Um, I am still, like it says, I'm I'm still on a learning curve. I'll get some videos out this next week with some stuff that like programming my my new MT12. Uh, there's there's quite a bit to it. I mean, you can do so much with that transmitter. So I'm I got a buddy's little micro crawler here that I'm trying to to get programmed for it, but I'm waiting on some parts to get here for it before I can drive it and test the the model that I built for it in uh, the MT12, and then hopefully it should do really well. But there's probably some adjustments I'll have to do. Um. Again, though, I want to talk about these Kyosho cars because they are awesome. They they run great. They're reliable. 
and the quality of these things is awesome. I mean, I know you can see the body sitting back here. Um, I went with the McLaren. Um, I wasn't, I, at first I didn't want to spend the money on one, but now I know that I have one. I got one on sale through a main and, uh, since I've gotten it, it, it's just, it's a great car. So you can get them with all kinds of different body styles and stuff like that. I know that they're more expensive than the WL toys, but if you want something to just take out of the box and run. Spend the money and get the Kyosho Mini Z. A lot of times you can find them on sale at places and stuff like that. So, it, they're well worth the money. And this is coming from somebody that's on a budget all the time with RC stuff. So, I'm I'm really happy with it. So, you can see though, by just by it sitting here, the quality of it is awesome. Um, I did add a transponder to it. Um, the... The tracks that I run on, everybody pretty much runs uh, the Easy Lap system for the Mini Zs. And that's what I'm waiting on that's going to be here this next week for my track. And then I'll be able to track my own lap times and stuff like that. Um, I would say that if you're looking to get into Mini Z racing and you're going to go to the local track, just ask them what they're running first. Um, your pro the, the extra expense for... The transponder is kind of like a mandatory thing now. When I first started racing, a lot of tracks used to loan you a transponder if you didn't have one. But those days are pretty much over. So you can get these Easy Lap transponders for about 25 bucks a piece. So I have, I actually, the, the Easy Lap system that I ordered, and that's why it took a little bit longer for it to get here actually is coming with four more transponders so then i can set up other cars and stuff with the the transponders and then when we open the my track up to to racing i'm pro i will probably do a couple of loaner uh transponders to start with and then people will have to be responsible for getting them themselves it's just it's kind of the way the racing side is gone so anyway, I don't want to make this video too long, guys. Uh, the next one I'll probably do is some more stuff I did on my uh, WL Toys because I do run that one in the all-wheel drive class. But I will save that for the next video. And again, as I get more comfortable to where I can do videos on programming this MT-12, I will put start putting out videos on that too to try to highlight the features and stuff like that what i'm trying to do mainly with that radio is i'm trying to build models for it that i can put up online for you guys that you guys can download the model and then just maybe do some minor adjustments and stuff to uh make it work for you but the majority of like the mixing and all that stuff will be already set up in the model you'll just have to go in like it says and change it to your liking but anyway that's for a later date so i want just wanted to put out a quick video real quick uh because i probably won't do any more until the beginning of next week um i'm hoping to be able to do some videos on the easy lap system and stuff like that with it set up so we will talk to you guys in the next one and i'm hoping everybody had a good new years and christmas and everything else as it's still the beginning of the new year so we will talk to you guys in the next one